Hey, hello friends, it's Pastor Scott coming to you live as we kick off our life groups for a new season. It's an exciting time right now. God's doing great things at Eagle Naz. Pastor Tim is leading us through a sermon series called Small Things, Big Change. And so we're leaning into that theme with our groups, thinking about small groups, big impact. The idea of groups getting together may seem like a small thing, but that time that we spend together every week, every month, over time has a big impact on us. The idea of being in groups is something we find even from the very earliest portion in Scripture. It's in Genesis chapter 2 that God looks at Adam and said, It is not good for the man to be alone. He needs to be in relationship. So in this season, as we go together through these groups, we'll be thinking about our relationship between us and God and really forming that life of worship, but also thinking about our relationships with us and each other and thinking about ways that we can spur one another on to love and good deeds. The whole idea of small groups having a big impact is right there in Scripture. Jesus called together 12 individuals from a wide variety of walks of life, experience, and said, Come, follow me, learn from me. And then he taught them how they could then preach about the kingdom and bring the kingdom of God into their world. And it literally changed the world. We have that incredible passage in Acts where it is said that this group has, has turned the world upside down. So let's pray that God will work in our church and through these life groups and that you'll have an impact to change your life, your family, your home, your community, your workplace, your school, whatever it is that God opens the door for you. As we get started in this very first week, we're going to be thinking about the sermons each week and how we can unpack those in our groups. So this week, uh, if you're starting off on that week of September 15th, it means that we got to hear from Pastor Giuseppe, our uh, high school pastor at Eagle Naz. He brought a message to us about the Gadarene demoniac looking in Matthew's gospel. You'll be reading that in your group from Matthew chapter 8. An incredible passage, a little bit weird. You know, this guy who was demon-possessed, but Jesus heals him. In your group, you're going to be looking at the context of that, how Jesus first ministers to the disciples by stilling a storm. Then they interact with this man that is demon-possessed, and Jesus heals him. And so you'll be reading about that and thinking about the ways that Jesus can bring healing into our life, not only spiritually, but mentally, emotionally, psychologically. So you'll be unpacking those verses tonight, looking at those scriptures and thinking about that. But I want you to also keep in mind in your group, at the end, you'll have some time to pray together. Who can you pray for? Now, you probably don't know someone that's demon-possessed that's living in the tombs, but maybe you do know someone that's going through a challenging time and you can bring those prayer requests to your group and you can be thinking about that person and be praying for them throughout the week and praying for an opportunity that you can share the love of Jesus with that person. So that will be a part of your group tonight. Now, as we start off groups, there's a couple of important tools, a couple of resources that I've created for you that I want you to use. In your group this week, your group leader will have for you a spiritual health inventory. And this is the one for small groups, great impact. And there's two sections here. The top section talks about those disciplines and habits that are part of your life, that scripture draws us to, whether it's reading scripture, spending time in prayer, meeting with other believers. So you're gonna go through and take a look at that. And as you think about it, the idea is not to create any guilt or anything like that, but just to intentionally think about how you spend your time, how you spend your week. Are you being intentional about, about building in time with God, with other believers, so you can grow spiritually? So you're going to mark that out. And then we'll look at this same uh, inventory in a couple of months and think about how have I grown? And then we get very personal. This second section is about my relationships and the way that I live my life. Am I extending forgiveness? Am I extending that into the, the relationships that I have? So you'll also give yourself a score there. So this week, you will take that home. You'll be doing it at home and bringing it back with you next week where you can share with your group and say, 
these are the places where God is kind of putting a finger on my life and saying, let's get better at these things. So the goal is not to make you feel like, man, I'm really blowing it here, but rather to make some intentions and say, this fall, over the next couple of months, I want to grow closer to the Lord and closer, closer to other, others in these things. So that's what that one is about. Now there's also a handout here that I want you to be thinking about over the next several weeks. So this is one that you can take home and kind of begin filling in. Those of you that did the Encore journey last spring, we talked about this idea of a rule of life for spiritual formation. Now, it's not a, a rule in the sense of something that, that becomes really a, a kind of a limiting, but it actually expands how we use our time, how we use our resources, and talks about things like my daily, my weekly, my monthly rhythms. Uh, some of you may be familiar uh, with John Mark Comer's book that also talks about creating a rule of life. And we want to give you that opportunity in your group so that we can encourage one another in those things. So I encourage you to take that home as well and begin thinking about those different areas of your life, some of those community practices, personal practices, as well as social practices. How are you reaching out to the people around you? Over the course of the next several weeks in our groups, we're gonna focus on a few things. That discipleship aspect will mean we're reading scripture together, we're praying for one another, we're sharing our concerns and being accountable to one another. So I encourage you in your group, be honest, be open. This is a safe place where you can share. But we're also going to look for opportunities that we have for evangelism. How can we outreach and share the gospel? We're going to look for opportunities for service. Are there places where you as a group can serve your neighborhood, your community, and the church. And so we'll be talking about opportunities and making those available that we can serve locally and even globally as we think about ways to impact our world. All right, that's what we've got for this very first session. So get to your reading, work through those questions, interact with one another, pray for one another. I look forward to this great journey of small groups, big impact in the weeks ahead. God bless you.